first has been around since the early 19, 1990s. It was started by Dean Kamen. Dean Kamen uh, is the founder, along with Woody Flowers. He's an MIT uh, professor emeritus. Um, and they came up with this idea. Mm. It really it kind of along the similar lines of why I do this is just to get kids involved in a hands-on project. Woody Flowers was doing that a lot with his students and his engineering courses at MIT and wanted to well, get students involved earlier. And he hooked up with Dean Kamen and they started this competition with 13 teams in uh, New Hampshire and it has exploded from there. My name is Chandler and I'm a junior here at Granite Bay High School, third year on the team. What really inspired me was at my old school, I went to a private school and my uh, math teacher was really involved in programming and stuff like that. And so I knew almost immediately I wanted to do something further on. I saw the robotics club and I saw the perfect opportunity to do it. I'm Hamad. Uh, I'm a junior here at Granite Bay High School and I joined the team as a freshman. This is now my third year on the team. And I joined because engineering was always on my roadmap, but it was always on my radar, but I never really was sure about it. I had other options too and when I came in I saw the robots that the team was producing and it really uh, caught my attention. I, as a freshman I wasn't really that involved. I just came in to see what was going on and it really drew me in and now uh, I have a blast with the program. I first joined because I've always had a passion for building and for creating things. Even as a little kid my favorite toy was always Legos and I saw all the robots at Club Day which is where we uh, recruit new freshmen and I was just instantly drawn to it and ever since then I've always loved robots and building and everything with engineering. The first organization has done a tremendous job in going ahead and coming to these companies and saying that look here's what our vision is. Our vision is to inspire these students in science and technology and we want them to be your future employees and so they have come to these companies and the companies, they, they see the value. They understand what an incredible uh, learning opportunity this is for the students. And the students are getting such an incredible knowledge base you know, prior to going into college. And it's, companies believe in it. They see it. They see the vision. And so they're investing millions of dollars to go ahead and sponsor these competitions. These competitions are not cheap. Um, they take a lot of uh, influx of uh, sponsorship and money and the companies are getting behind it, and it's really great to see. Come on, Oh, yeah! One of the things that FIRST has really tried to get the students to do is to bring new tech technologies on board to help them solve the problem that they have for that particular year. Um, this year was, again, to shoot basketballs in a basketball hoop, and there was a target on there that required students to go ahead and to have the robot see the target, track onto the target, and then shoot the basketball. With the help of Cognitive Technologies, we have cameras here that are able to do that, to be able to go ahead and recognize the target, track onto it, and be able to help them shoot the ball. What was really, really cool about this is that we're the only team in the world that has this technology from Cognitive Technology to be able to use. Um, and it was really neat to be able to kind of, again, kind of introduce that to a lot of other teams. The teams would come by, the judges would come by, see what we have, and they were very interested in, in how we're using that technology. And in a way for them to see maybe, hey, this is also something we can use next year. We also had a table out in front that kind of demonstrated exactly what the cameras were doing. Um, so it really was a cool way for students to see you know, something that's the latest and greatest technology that's out there and how can it be used in the competition at first. Well, my first experience with training the neurons was when we were uh, initially using them to prototype track and basketball hoops. And I worked with uh, uh, employees from Cognimem who came and helped us out. And I think it was really interesting to see how easy and intuitive it was to train because Without any technical knowledge at that time of knowing how the chips worked or anything of that sort, I was able to very easily train and then even watch the cameras track the basketball nets. And I thought it was incredible how easy, intuitive, and user-friendly the program and interface was to use. And that kind of got you guys some kind of award, right? Yeah, actually it did. Um, at UC Davis, we won the uh, engineering award for the use of the cameras because of how easy it was to train. 